the profit experts. How Raphael Nadal and Lena won the Roland Garros French Open Tennis Grand Slam 2011 and why Andy Murray did not win it? Yesterday at Roland Garros, Raphael Nadal won his sixth French Open title, equally the record held by Bjorn Borg. How did he do it? What makes Raphael Nadal so good on clay while the likes of Andy Murray struggle? Even Roger Federer after downing red-hot Novak Djokovic was beginning to fancy his chances against Raphael Nadal but in the end fell short of taking the glory. The main question that needs to be answered here is, what does it take to win a tennis grand slam? Whether it is the Australian Open, the, the United States Open or the mother of all tennis grand slam tournaments Wimbledon. What is it about the likes of Pete Sampras, Boris Becker, Andre Agassi or John McEnroe that made them the champion they were? Jane Novotna said after winning Wimbledon that her coach told her that to win a tennis grand slam a player needs three things, play well, be healthy and have luck. Let's dissect this winning formula piece by piece. What does playing well mean? Well it certainly does not mean just hitting the ball well, nor does it mean serving well. What it means is making the crucial points in the course of the game. Whether it is Tiger Woods playing golf or Lionel Messi of Barcelona, it is having the ability to make the crucial pot, or scoring the game-winning jails that are considered playing well. It is not merely playing that matters it is a matter of playing well when it matters the most. All professional teams or players play at the same standard what makes the difference is playing well at the right time. What makes a Lionel Messi, Zinedine Zidane or Pele is that when those guys are one on one with the keeper they score. What does being healthy mean? It means a player needs to be physically healthy. In addition to good physical health it also means a player needs to have sound mental health to call upon in the crucial moments of a game. Raphael Nadal's ability to make crucial points at the right moments on clay is what makes him a champion. Roger Federer dominates Wimbledon because when he comes to the net he has this ability to get those split-second decisions right and place the tennis ball in the right spots. Great goalkeepers such as Edwin van Diersen or defender Pola Moldny have the ability to analyze the striker as they speed with the ball towards them and decide how to easily and effortlessly neutralize them. Then there is luck. What is luck? For many people it means serendipity. Does luck exist? It does. That is why people sometimes win the national lottery. However, does luck really determine the destiny of people? I beg to differ. Luck is defined as when preparedness meets opportunity or labor using correct knowledge. That's one of the traits that set great champions such as Raphael Nadal apart from the likes of Andy Murray. Raphael Nadal understands that he makes his own luck therefore to be lucky. He needs to be prepared. What do I mean by preparation? For me the first thing that links with preparation is the reason why. Why do you want to do something? To say it is about time that Andy Murray wins a tennis grand slam is not a justifiable reason to motivate him to be hungry to win. There must be a reason beyond the abstract. Prior to retirement, former tennis star, Goran Ivanizovic was asked why he played the way he did at the time, he replied that he had lost his motivation. He said when he started playing tennis, his sister had cancer, so he played for his sister. When his sister recovered, his country went to war so he played for his country. However, in the end, he ran out of reasons to play therefore had lost his motivation. 
This might sound a simplistic explanation but this is a very crucial point for the making of a championship team or individual. The Brazilian national football team was once the best in the world. Those were the days when the majority of their players played inside Brazil. However, when many of them turned professional and started playing in European leagues earning millions, they lost the passion that once made the Brazilian game great to watch. In those days they knew that if they did not perform, they would be condemned to a life of poverty in the ghettos of Sao Paulo or Rio de Janeiro. Nowadays, win or lose, they will go to their posh apartments in Milan or London therefore the hunger to win has vanished. Quite recently Russian women were completely dominating women's tennis. The likes of Anna Kalnikova, Elena Menteva, Maria Sharapova or Nadia Petrova dominated the Women's Tennis Association to tour for a long time. Why? They had a strong, great, justifiable reason to. They will literally starve in Russia if they didn't succeed. The Williams sisters understand that being black, they had to be better than not as good as the white female tennis players. Furthermore, on the court they knew they had the hopes and aspirations of an entire race on their shoulders therefore they had to deliver. Rafael Nadal came from Spain. As we all know Spain is one of the countries on the critical list right now. We always joke amongst ourselves that the pigs countries are Africa in disguise. They are African countries that happen to be on the wrong side of the ocean. Therefore Mr. Nadal knows he has to succeed for the sake of his country. Roger Federer is a Swiss German. You need to live in Germany to understand their intensity for winning. He might look cold on the court but inside he has this burning desire that cries out because I am German I have to win this match. Now Andy Murray, what is his reason for wanting to win a tennis grand slam? When he finds this reason, he will be willing to do whatever takes. He cannot win a tennis grand slam with a part-time coach, he needs to find himself a good full-time coach. He then needs to fire the people around him. Yes they have done well to take him to where he is now. However, if he wants to take his game to the next level, he needs a new team around him, which means the old team must go. That is how he will be able to win and bask in all the glory of being the champion of Wimbledon next year. When he does he better not forget to send my check for this free consultation. Thank you for watching. Join us at http colon slash slash www.theprofitexperts.co.uk